you want to talk about flavor explosion, this is it right here. We are still in Malaysia, currently Kuala Terengganu, and it is our first time here at the east coast of Peninsular Malaysia. In this episode, we will be taking you to few of KT's must-eat seafood. It's very, very strong, salty, fermented flavor, but it's really good. That's just perfectly fried. The squid is so tender and juicy, and with that shredded coconut in there, it's incredible. It's another one. I can eat about 20 of these. So sit back, relax, grab some snack too. You might get hungry. This is our first time having singang budu. From the smell of it, the singang makes me think of a Filipino dish, paksi. Is that paksi? Is that So it's like chaos in here. Kind of organized chaos, kind of not, but. I love this place already. Just from walking in here, it's got such a great vibe to it. It's like full of locals. Everyone's just lining up, just, just getting their rice, getting their fish. Uh, so this place is called Singang Budu. So we've heard a lot from our viewers. You've told us to get Singang and Budu. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. We know it's a specialty here in Terengganu. Immediately when we saw Singang, we immediately thought Sinigang. It's the sour soup from the Philippines that's often served with fish or chicken. The broth is clear, but has a little bit of yellow in it as well. Uh, it's got chopped onions, cloves of garlic, turmeric root in here, chili potty. And the cool thing is it's in a big buck. You can scoop exactly what you want out of that tub. So if you want more of the chilies, if you want more turmeric, if you want more aromatics, you can do that. And then you can pick out exactly how much fish you want and they'll charge you based on that. Before I try it with the fish, I'm gonna try just the broth first. I'm very curious. Curious to see if it tastes like sinigang. Mmm. The broth is very salty, mixed with a little bit of sour in there. And um, the yellow, you can definitely taste the turmeric. Now I'm gonna try it with the fish. Mm. This is a dish that goes really well with this fish. The fish is very meaty. The fish doesn't have that strong of a flavor, which is nice, it's a clean taste. So it complements the stronger, kind of more pungent broth to go with it. Very good. From the looks of it and the smell of it, it reminds me of, actually it doesn't remind me of Sinigang. It reminds me of pak siu. I can't. I don't even know how to say it in English. It's sour fish. It's not sinigang, but it's different. And it smells like it, very much like so. With lots of ginger. Yep, this one is saltier than what a pak siu is, but it's very much like so pak siu. Now I try this budu, the notorious budu. The budu is the fermented anchovy sauce here. It's really stark gray. So we actually have it with chopped red onions, chili potty, and limao. So we'll try just a little bit because it's very pungent. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Let's try a little bit with the lime. I think it's going to go perfectly with some of this rice and with some of the ikan singang right here. Chop up some of the chili potty too. Mm. Yeah, it has very, very strong, salty, fermented flavor, but it's really good. I really like this. Sometimes when it gets to the really salty stuff, it could be a little much for me at times, but not this. This is really good. I'm excited to pair this up with more. This reminds me of Ginamos. It's fermented anchovies. Let me try. And the smell of it also. This one's like really on the salty side very salty but it's fermented so yep oh wow i'm gonna try get some soup pour it into my rice with some budu mm. so another thing that a lot of our viewers have been telling us to try is temple yak so when we walked in here we didn't plan on ordering it we we're really just gonna get the singang budu some rice we got other things this temple yak looked incredible so we first walked in we saw the grilled fish with what we figured was temple yak being spread on it because this is really stark orange color and it's covered in patai, the stink beans. So just as a test, because we never tried it before, because we know the hail is from Pahang. We were gonna originally wait to go to Pahang to try it, but we see it here. We saw you could just get a little cup of it to taste, so that's what we did. If we love it, we might actually get that grilled fish with the temple yak on it, but let's give it a shot. First by itself with no patai. Mmm. Whoa, it's so creamy. 
You get that little bit of durian flavor, fermented, but it's got a lot of chili flakes in here. It's really spicy. You get a slight touch of the patai that's been embedded, but now I'm gonna try it with a whole patai and get that flavor all together. Whoa. You wanna talk about flavor explosion? This is it right here. That patai gives you that really unique kind of bitter, pungent flavor to go with that durian. And you get that durian aroma in here mixed with the chili. Man, this is, this might have sold me to get, we may have to get this whole grilled fish depending if we're not too full because this is delicious. Ordering the grilled fish of that day was impossible for our stomach space. So we... Yeah, we're back at Singam Buddha. We enjoy this place so much that so we had to come back here on our last day here in Kuala Terengganu. Mainly for one reason, but we have some more reasons here. Uh, we tried that tempoyak, that fermented durian paste, uh, just on the side, but we wanted to get it with the grilled fish the way it's supposed to be. So we got this one right here. Oh, you heard my thoughts about it before. Just gonna dig in right here. We ripped off a piece of this grilled fish with the uh, tempoyak. This is just really one of the most explosive flavor that I've eaten all in Malaysia so far, is this tempoyak. Wow. Can't get a better roadside seafood spot than this. We're at the East Coast, Malaysia. And then we have to have seafood, why not? We're literally on the coast, on the side of the road here, Warung, so Warung's like food stall, shack. So what we got here is, we ordered everything here. So all they have here is fried seafood, and we got it all. So what they do is they actually have different plates up in the front. You self-serve, you have tongs, you just grab them. Except for the sotong, the fried squid. They actually have whole ones in the back. So you grab them, you actually bring them to your table and snip them, cut them up yourself. So you got the sotong, the squid, the udang, the prawns right here. You got the keropok liqueur, that's like, that's the very traditional Terengganu sort of like fish sausage. So it's made with minced fish and sago flour. This is a fresh batch that came right out. And we also got the ikan, the fish. Not sure what type of fish it is, but it's old fish. And it's all covered in this flour. So it's chalup te pong. So that means dipped in flour and fried. So we love fried seafood, one of our favorites. We're excited, can't wait to get into this. I was eating the crumbs while I was waiting for Greg. The line is intensely long because our grab driver told us that it is especially crowded here on weekends. A lot of people come here all over Peninsular Malaysia just to eat this. One of my favorites is always squid. So I'm gonna go with the sotong first. Just like this. Did a little sloppy job on the cutting, but that's okay. Let's take a bite. Mm. That's just perfectly fried. The squid is so tender and juicy. And I love the flour breading here. It's incredibly crispy. Now we have this beautiful udang right here, the whole prong with the head on. It looks so crispy, I think we just eat the whole thing and that's what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. A bit right at the head, so you got all those juices coming out. That's where all the flavor is, right in the head. Mm. You get that intensely strong prawn flavor. It's very fresh. This is <laughs> two, two pieces in. It's already worth the drive from Kuala Terengganu, about a half hour north of the coast. You definitely have to come here. Okay. I'm gonna try this Kerapok liqueur. We've had it a few times already out here in Terengganu, but I'm gonna try from here. I feel it's gonna be good. It's just, <laughs> the first two are an indication, should be good too. We also have this red dipping sauce, we'll give that a try. Mm. A bite of it by itself. Mm. It's good. Definitely not the most attractive food around. It's very odd looking actually. It's a very weird gray color, but it's got that nice like, something simple about it that I like. Like you taste the freshness of the fish. It's got that chewy texture. You know, it's kind of like a fish cake, a little bit, but chewier. More like tapioca. The last one here is this ikan, the whole fried fish. Looks good. I'm actually just gonna eat it right from the head. Mm-hmm. Good. Just like this might be some sort of macro. Definitely recommend ordering all four. Get a taste of everything. And the beautiful thing, you can pick out exactly how much you want. If you just want two prawns, you grab two prawns. You want one fish, get one fish. Totally up to you. It's nice about this place. And just charge you for what you pick out.
This place is amazing. So we are now at Pulot Pangang Sata Kakza in Batu Rakit. We're surrounded by coconut trees, grilled. Wow. Fired on coconut husk. The grill. So something we want to try for our whole time here in Terengganu. We finally get to try it. It's called satar. So sata is the minced fish wrapped in banana leaf, grilled over not charcoal but coconut husks. It smells amazing. So I took it out of the banana leaf, unwrapped it, ready to take a bite. So the cooling with this uh, sata, like the first thing I think of with this, uh, it reminds me a lot of otak otak, but this one's just fully minced fish, and they're also shaped in these interesting like triangular packages, and they're all skewered. So there's about five. Yeah, there's five of them on a skewer, grilled together. All in one. Mm. It's just so juicy. I love that sweet, salty, spicy combination. And with that shredded coconut in there, this is incredible. This is another one. I can eat about 20 of these. There definitely is a little bit of spice in here. There's some sweetness. I believe there's coconut in here. It looks like there's uh, shaved coconut in here. Really nice. This is very interesting. This is sweet and savory and sticky rice. It reminds me of um, suman. Suman in Philippines, it's, it's dessert, but this one is savory. It's like a dish all in one, wrapped in banana leaves. It's delicious. Look at that. Wow. We also got here the pulut panggang. So pulut means sticky rice, and this is also wrapped in banana leaves and grilled over the coconut husk. So I'm really curious to try this. I'm gonna take a bite. It's got a really solid texture on the outside. You can see the grill marks here. Mmm. Wow. I haven't even gotten to the filling yet, and it's already so tasty. The texture of that sticky rice, when it gets grilled like this, it gets that perfect crisp on the outside. Amazing! Amazing. You can really taste that smokiness and that char flavor, which is wonderful. And now, Looks like there's some minced fish in here. I'm gonna take a bite of that too. Mm. This is excellent. Now that minced fish is not overwhelming spice. It's got, it really complements that sticky rice well. So the sticky rice, this is really the star. Get that aroma of the banana leaf in there and that char flavor. It's great, can eat about 10 of these. Easy. Now, give me four skewers of sata and I'll be happy. Wow, look at the vibes. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Love this place. Love it. Love this experience.